Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to control the speed of the stepper motor using a potentiometer and a stepper driver with the ESP32. We will also display the motor speed on an OLED display. We will be simulating everything in Vokui. In this project, we will use the A4988 stepper driver to control the rotation of the stepper motor. We will also connect a potentiometer to the ESP32 which will allow us to adjust the speed of the motor. The current speed will be displayed on an OLED screen and we will also use the serial monitor to print the potentiometer values. Let's start by adding the component in Vokui. First drag the ESP32 board into the workspace. Then we will add the A4988 stepper driver. Connecting its DIR and step pin to GPIO32 and GPIO33 of the ESP32. Next, we will add the potentiometer and connect it to GPIO 34. And connect the VCC and the ground. Finally, let's add the OLED display and connect it via STA and SCL pins just like we will in a real setup. and connect the VCC and the ground. For the A4988 stepper driver, we have four pins for that stepper motor. First, we will add the stepper motor and then connect the coils of the stepper motor to the A4988 motor driver.
let's take a look at the code we start we need to enclose two libraries one is wire.h and other one is adafruit ssd 1306 for the OLED display dir pin and the step pin are the pins to control the direction and the steps of the stepper motor this line sets the dimension of the oled display these are the oled screen configuration to create an object called display this pin is used to read the analog value from the potentiometer on the GPIO 34 which control the speed of the motor void setup we have the serial dot begin which initializes the serial monitor at a board rate of 115200 initializes the OLED display if the display is not found, the code will enter an infinite loop to prevent further execution. Clear the display and set the text property like uh, size and color of the display. We have set the spins as an output to control the stepper motor. This display the initial message. On the OLED display, on the OLED display for few seconds, it's the analog value from the potentiometer between zero and one zero two three. Here, it maps the potentiometer value zero to one zero two three to a motor speed ranging from one to thousand RPM. This allows the user to control the speed of the motor using the potentiometer clears the OLED display and prints the current motor speed on the screen updating in real time as the potentiometer is adjusted this pin set the direction of the motor to clockwise if you can change it if you want to reverse the direction just you need to write it as low digital write step underscore pin high and low this line create a pulse on this step underscore pin causing the motor to move one step delay uh, like in microsecond this line control the speed of the motor by adjusting the delay between each step pulse like the delay is inversely proportional to the motor speed so a higher speed will result in a shorter delay between pulse causing the motor to spin faster this prints the potentiometer value to serial monitor for debugging purpose then we have a small delay to make the motor control smoother and more responsive now let's start the simulation and see it in action as i turn the potentiometer the speed of the stepper motor will change and the updated speed will be displayed on the OLED screen. You can also see the potentiometer value printed in the serial monitor. As I adjust the potentiometer, the speed of the motor increases or decreases and the OLED display updates accordingly. We have successfully created a stepper motor speed control system using an A4988 stepper driver, NESP32 and a potentiometer. Plus we mounted the display, plus we displayed the motor speed on an OLED screen. All done virtually in Wokvi. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you.